My name is Jay Notes, and I am an official independent artist. Manny Vega, I'm a visual artist. And my name is Abel Cuevas, also known as B O N Y Bonnie, and I'm a Latin urban artist. My name is Brendan Manning, and I am an illustrator and slash designer. Street art is one of the most hybrid forms of artistic expression in our modern world because its purpose is to draw upon what the viewers know and manipulate the physicality of the subject to make their point. Born and uh, raised here in New York City, Bronx, and, and also East Harlem, and um, uh, in, the, in the 70s, uh, I was a teenager, and uh, the public art scene was just beginning. Uh, murals and, and graffiti. Um, for me, it began actually on this block on 104th Street in Lexington, across the street uh, with a Hank Prussin painting the spirit of East Harlem. And I was his assistant. I, my gift, I, 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 I guess I was around the age of five. Yeah, I've been drawing since then, just little comics, strips of paper, um, loose leaf, crayons, anything I can get my hands on. It empowers you with the, first of all, the ability to, uh, how you say, have something to say, you know, and, and the tools to say it. Um, I remind people that, you know, to get your attention is actually a very precious thing, and you don't want to waste that. To, so to be very thoughtful about what you want to convey, what you want to say. In my case, you know, I use, uh, the visual medium, whether it's a, a mural, a drawing, a painting, or, a, or a, even collaborating with other artists. Like, man, that's, that's an interesting question. <laughs> um, I don't know, like, my interests and the things that I, I feel like passionate about, those are the things that I draw, those are the things that I paint. Um, that comes out, um, w whether it's like a comic where I, I used to do a lot of comics back in the day, like just like action intense, like Kung Fu, martial arts, you know, um, espionage, whatever. Um, but now I find myself gravitating more towards design and things that like, that tell a visual story when it comes to like an identity, um, so it all thing it all depends on where I'm at mentally, and you know if if it's just me stripped down, bare bones, I'm probably doing some sci-fi space epic because I I'm obsessed with like space and um, you know astrophysics and whatnot. So right there, um, some sketches, uh, life sketches based on models and real quick most of these done in like 20 30 seconds it's like a strike of black lightning if i'm just paying attention to my neighbors i don't need a television you know it's it, you know it my life is interesting just living around my neighbors interesting enough to make it the topics of the art that i create I think that's why people like what I do because they see themselves in my work. They consider me almost like a, you know, like the storyteller of the neighborhood. And, and that's also why I take that seriously in terms of uh, historically. I'm thinking about the future, 50 years from now, 100 years from now, when we're not around anymore. And so I choose to use mosaics mosaic glass, mosaic stone. Everybody's living, you know, a life, and each life is a theater unto itself. Spanish hip-hop is directly influenced by United States hip-hop and the hip-hop produced in Latin America, and to a lesser extent, by other European countries such as France and the United Kingdom. At the same time, Spanish hip-hop has an international audience, including tours, collaborations, and mixtape exchanges in Latin America, the United States, and Europe. My name is Jay Notes, and I am an official independent artist. I started singing when I was like around three, four years old. Um, I always had a fun for music, 
mostly Spanish music since I'm Dominican, so I grew up listening to all the merengueros and all the salseros, and that's where it really started. And then I started doing it again when I was like 14, 15, with people from my neighborhood. And then I started taking it serious, like around 21, 22, you know, started pursuing for a career, you know, little by little, you know, it was the passion that I love. Mom was always pushing me to go to school, doing this, this and that, but my love was always music. Um, pretty much I was like about 17 or 16, like I, I, I started doing music while, let's say, in just like hanging around and playing with everybody inside the cafeteria, banging on tables and whatnot, and one thing led to another, and all of a sudden, like, I developed the skills for it, and, well, now I'm here, with the music. <laughs> I speak for those that are locked up, I speak for those that are in love, I speak for those that are not in love, I speak for those that can't speak, I speak for those that can't see, you know? So, when I find my voice through Spanish, speaking Spanish and doing music in Spanish, it gives me the freedom to connect with everybody that does speak Spanish. And uh, pretty much the fact that like I was able to find myself within music and actually create something from nothing, and as I kept actually making more songs, more songs, like I kept getting better at it, and like I noticed I can really do something out of this, and hopefully influence a lot of people. We have a country where to assimilate, you have to speak English. And I think that where he was and the way it came out didn't sound right to me. We have to have assimilation. To have a country, we have to have assimilation. I'm not the first one to say this, Dana. We've had many people over the years, for many, many years, saying the same thing. This is a country where we speak English, not Spanish. Yeah, we got to keep it very alive, because at the end of the day, Spanish is one of the most spoken languages in the world. So for him to say that, it gives us even more power to counterattack and keep it alive and open, you know? We, it's not about that Spanish people in control, it's, it's, it's the whole point is we have to stay united and we have to be strong, just like, you know, Cortez, you know, Ocasio, she's a big inspiration, you know, even if she don't sing or nothing, but she inspired other people to be in the political game and have a higher voice for Spanish people, you know, for Hispanics, Latinos, and everybody. I mean, you gotta keep it alive, because it's like you're denying, you're denying people their identity and who they are. At the end of the day, you gotta recognize that America itself is and was founded by immigrants, so it's like, we are all immigrants, even the president itself, and he knows it. So it's like, you have to embrace your culture and who you are, because that's what America is all about, all the cultures together, uprising. Well, Mark gives me a voice in the sense that I can, I can make music that can relate to people, that can relate to you, can relate to anybody. And like, one of the most important things about music is like, what happened to me is that, that's how I was to be walking in the street and somebody recognized me, Leo Boni, I like your songs, man. I appreciate it, because it, it took me from a dark place and it took me over here, or like, I influenced, I vibe to it, like, and, it, and it's a great feeling when you have good positive impacts on people's lives that you don't even know, but at the same time, they know you so well just because of your music. So it's like, it's a great connection, man. I want to leave a legacy that Dominicans, Dominican-American can make it happen. You know, I want to be—I want to be one of the first ones to step stone and be, be like this Dominican made it happen. Aside from Romeo Santos, aside from other people that made it happen, I want to be this Dominican kid from Washington Heights made it happen, and and we're gonna, it's gonna give the opportunity to others that are gonna come after me to do the same, or even better. The legacy I would love to leave behind is basically, simply, just I would that I would like to leave a positive impact, uh, not just on my friends and family, but on the community around me. I don't think about that. I, I, I let what I do actually create that legacy. I'd rather spend my attention on the projects in front of me that I'm gonna create, all right? Maybe to the last breath of my life. I think that's what, how Picasso lived his life. That's why he left so much behind. Uh, I hope to leave behind. Pretty much just influenced the mind, man. Just influenced the mind and, and, and the youth, the generation, 
bring them up and so they can actually get to know, get get to be more familiar with the culture, with who they are at the end of the day. And like, for example, in my case, I was born in New York. I didn't know any Spanish whatsoever. And then I went to the Dominican Republic for three years. When I came back, I was very fluent at it, but my surroundings when I came back, they weren't actually that fluent with their culture as well. So it's like, dig into your culture, love who you are, just 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 find out, man. There's a lot of beautiful things in, 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 in your life and your culture. Like don't don't let the no sir tell you no and like all this political stuff that's going around with Hispanic and stuff like that, see? That's a negative thing. You gotta see the bright side of everything and you just gotta go out there and find out, man. Every culture is beautiful. You just gotta find out. Trust me. It is touching the truth. Thank you.